What's going on guys? It's Dave. Welcome back to the channel. I want to thank everybody who's liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing to our videos. Appreciate it guys. It's really helping us out. Thank you very much. Okay, so you know, I'm glad a party had the balls to say this. Uh, I guess the opposition is giving the Bank of Canada fair warning about financing Justin Trudeau's pipe dreams. Uh, it seems the opposition uh, has issues with Justin Trudeau and his crazy spending outside what is needed for pandemic emergency measures. And you know what? He is getting a little carried away. So I'm glad somebody had enough to stand up and say, hey, wait a second here. Pierre Polyevra said, uh, if the Bank of Canada does want to start getting more and more political, then it will be held to the same level of political accountability as other political entities. Good for him. Good for him. Because they're basically enabling, the Bank of Canada is enabling reckless spending under Justin Trudeau. So to keep interest rates low and to fund Justin Trudeau's crazy spending, the central bank will control about 56% of the Canadian bond market by the end of next year. They're just making imaginary money. And when people do this to fund reckless spending under Justin Trudeau, guess what? It hurts the everyday Canadian. That's you and me. That's who it's hurting. It's, you know what? It's just like using a credit card too much. And then all of a sudden, you don't have the money to pay it back. And that's what Justin Trudeau is doing. He's using the Bank of Canada as his own credit card. Cripes. I am glad that the opposition stepped up and said something. You know what? Somebody's got to protect us because Justin Trudeau sure as hell isn't. Guys. Anyway, guys. Isn't that incredible? You guys take care. Please be safe.